How about the calmness? How, where does that come from in your product? Um, I think the calmness comes from a two or three different uh, ingredients. One, uh, the L-theanine. Okay. I think that's a fascinating product. Me too. Uh, uh, compound. Compound, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, I actually get stimulated from it. I do too a little bit, mm-hmm. but not but – That not, may be where I'm getting the stimulant effect from the thing. I, um, caffeine without uh, L-theanine yeah. – is more stimulating for me than caffeine with L-theanine. That's weird. Well, I mean, tea is less stimulating than coffee, and L-theanine is yes. naturally occurring in tea leaves. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, I, I sort of always say that the British Empire was the first state-level nootropic user. Oh, interesting. Because you know, the British Empire conquered the world on tea, yeah. and that, that's caffeine and L-theanine. Oh, interesting. And so if you take L-theanine supplementation, you know, p- capsule form or powders, and take it with coffee— you actually get a very similar smooth push the way you get from tea. Oh, that's interesting. So we thought adding L-theanine to True Brain, you know, we didn't add uh, caffeine to the capsule form, uh, and uh, people use caffeine, relig- you know, aggressively in this country. I certainly do. Um, and so adding some L-theanine helps m- modify people's existing caffeine use. So, and what does L-theanine do? Uh, L-theanine appears to be GABAergic. It, it appears to cross the blood-brain barrier. And once it's on the far side of the blood I'm brain, you're gonna drink one of your drinks. Right great. Right. See if anything um, happens. And to those me. actually, those if you if you haven't tasted one of those, you may be shocked at how good those taste. Really? In the comparison, others weren't bad. They were a little medicine-y. The, the other ones were like like energy drink level yeah, of flavor. Yeah, These yeah. are a step up, I think. Right. And we've actually improved them since then. Do I have to shake it or anything? No. no, no. Um, shake and drink. So the L-theanine crosses the blood brain barrier and upregulates GABA, which is the only in purely inhibitory neurotransmitter. Right. GABA is sort um, of uh, the Valium works at the GABA. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. And uh, GABA also upregulates alpha waves. It is good. It's not bad. Yeah, it is better. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, it's a little sweet. A little. I didn't mind the other one, I got to tell you, because I felt like I was drinking something. I mean, the, the, <laughs> the bar wasn't that high in energy drink land. The bar is very low, you know, but, but we intentionally didn't call this an energy drink. It's a think drink. I'm going to tell you something. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm observing something for real, but here we are evaluating a product. It tastes better in the back of my tongue than the front. Interesting. I don't know. Hmm. So, Athena, what else does it do? So, it upregulates GABA, um, adds alpha waves, adds some relaxation. It also can buffer sort of overstimulation. So, I was being strategic with all the ingredients and the other neuroscientists we pulled in uh, when we were first building the product. We included products in True Brain to both boost you and to buffer you. Got 